If you're considering an investment in a solar power system for your home in Florida, then stop right there. I want you to watch this video first because I'm going to be teaching you how the solar program works in Florida in 2023 and how you can get the best return on your solar investment. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find expert reviews on solar panels, batteries, the different gear and equipment that makes up a home solar power system, as well as relevant industry news from the solar space. Now in today's video we're talking about how the solar program works in Florida in 2023 and how you can get the best return on your investment in solar. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to take advantage of with solar in Florida is the net metering program. If you have a net metering solar power system installed on your home in Florida, you can power your home directly using solar power during daylight hours. You can also sell the excess solar back to the power company, so you're actually building up excess credits on your account during daylight hours which will then cover what you have to pull back in from them during evening hours when the solar panels are not producing. And of course the goal is if the system is designed properly, you'll have enough excess credits earned during daytime hours that it'll completely cover what you have to pull in during the evening so your bill will net out to zero. And that's why we call it a net metering system. And so as of this recording, the major for-profit utilities in Florida offer a great one-for-one -one net metering program. Whether you're on Florida Power & Light, or maybe you're on Duke Energy or Tico, they all have a great one-for-one -one solar net metering program. Now, some of the utilities, like JEA, don't offer a true one-for-one -one net metering. Or in some cases, they won't let you bank your excess credits. So for utilities that don't have a true one-for-one -one net metering, you may want to downsize your system to just large enough to cover your needs during daylight hours, but not so large where you're gonna be creating a lot of excess where you may not get full credit for that excess. The other thing to keep in mind in Florida is that systems over 10 kilowatts of AC power rating are subject to tier two insurance requirements. And so all that means is that there's a little bit of additional insurance coverage that's required. Uh, basically, it's, it's at least $1 million of liability coverage required, which you could have as part of your homeowner's insurance policy, uh, or you could have as part of a personal umbrella policy. Um, but at least that $1 million of liability coverage is necessary in order to install what is designated a tier two system, meaning larger than 10 kilowatts on the AC rating. So if you have a very, very large home that necessitates a very large solar power system to offset the usage, um, just be prepared. There may be a tier two insurance requirement. Uh, of course, most of your top tier Florida solar installers can handle uh, acquiring that additional insurance coverage for you. On that note, it's also important that you have a solar friendly insurance carrier. Now we've seen reports over the past six months or so that homeowners insurance carriers have been dropping Florida homeowners that have installed solar on their home. Uh, and a lot of this had to do with, there, there had been so much solar activity in Florida in the past couple of years. And unfortunately, there were some companies that came in from out of state thinking that, hey, there's gonna be this gold rush, there's gonna be this opportunity to just make a lot more profit in Florida. Uh, and a lot of them came in and they did very fast and sloppy installations that led to roof leaks and electrical fires in some cases. And so the insurance companies responded by pulling coverage for some of these homes that were installed by some of these companies uh, because they didn't want the risk. Now, I, I don't mean to dissuade you from looking into solar. I think solar is still an excellent investment and solar is functional and safe if it's installed properly. Uh, but again, this is why you wanna make sure that you choose the right contractor when you're installing your solar. Don't just shop on the cheapest price and who's offering you the cheapest price. You really wanna make sure you do your homework and does this contractor have an established reputation of doing quality work. But anyway, that's one thing to make sure is that your homeowner's insurance carrier 
uh, is a solar friendly carrier. And of course, if you need some help with selecting the right insurance company, you know, we'd be happy to help you out with that here at Solar Surge. We work with some of the best solar companies in Florida. Now, the other thing to consider in Florida, uh, especially if you live in coastal Florida, is making sure that you're installing solar panels that have an adequate RIN rating. Uh, some of the most popular solar panels nationwide do not meet the wind rating requirement for coastal Florida, particularly coastal South Florida, like the West Palm Beach, Miami area, which is considered a high hurricane threat zone, which means that the homes have to be built to a higher wind rating. But it also means if you're going to install solar panels on those homes, then those solar panels also have to be installed in such a manner to achieve that high wind rating. Um, so make sure that you're using a good, solid, high wind rated racking system as well as a high wind rated solar panel uh, like the Aptos that we use is a 210 mile per hour wind rated panel. This is going to be especially important in Florida and if you use the right equipment and if it's installed properly by a competent installer the solar panels will stay on the roof so long as the roof stays on the house. Also if you're considering financing the purchase of your solar power system be sure to inquire about Climate First Bank. Uh, Climate First Bank is a lender unique to Florida that offers no closing cost solar loans with interest rates that are very, very competitive, pretty much right on par with what a home mortgage or what a home equity loan would be. And so unlike other solar loans that might be offered directly from the contractor, sometimes there's closing costs involved in getting those loans set up. Using the financing from Climate First Bank allows you to finance the entire project, including both the solar panel cost and the battery backup if, if you're choosing to do battery storage with your solar. Um, and all of that can be financed at, at a no closing cost, same as cash pricing. And finally, you need to avoid warranty scams. Now, one of the trends that we're hearing reports of now in the solar industry is at the time of sale, the solar salesman is offering you a 30 year, uh, basically soup to nuts, bumper to bumper, third party warranty. However, what some of these sales representatives are doing is selling you a fake warranty certificate. Uh, in other words, they're, they're, they're printing up their certificate, but they're not actually registering or paying for the warranty coverage uh, from, the, from the warranty company. And so this is another pitfall that you need to really be careful of and avoid and make sure that you're doing business with a reputable company. Now, of course, if you're in the process, if you're soliciting quotes and bids from different solar providers, uh, if you need to get a price quote or if maybe you already have a couple and you just need to get a comparison quote, um, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below, uh, set up a quick Zoom call with one of our experts here, and we can provide some pricing as well as some information for you. Um, also, if you are looking for third-party warranty protection for your solar installation, we are happy to offer that throughout all of Florida via Solar Insure. Uh, and what Solar Insure was set up to do was first to provide thorough vetting of the contractors that they allow onto their network um, to really do a deep dive into the financial strength and history of the contractor, not just looking at online reviews. And then also in the unlikely event that your original contractor is unable to perform warranty repairs themselves, Solar Insure can pull from its network of qualified dealers and installers and have somebody come to make repairs for your system right away. So again, if you'd like to get more information on that, feel free to reach out to us on the website or you can reach out to us on the link there and set up a quick call with one of our solar experts here. Now, of course, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't subscribed already. That way, as we publish the new videos, they'll come up on your feed and on your homepage so that you can stay up to date with us. Well, folks, this pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.